the atmosphere in it. What we used to call the soul quality is really good. This is probably my favourite house for all sorts of reasons. It's affordable, it's a modest but offers enough space. It kind of feels a bit like a TARDIS, you know, quite small from the outside, but because we've got these open cathedral ceilings, it just gives a really good sense of space. There's always a discussion in Passive House Circles about form factor and of course being single storey is a challenge and then you've, you've dipped it in but actually here that really works. It's not just because oh it looks boring in plan we need to articulate it that creates that lovely area does the overhang. You go from the box it's more expensive but it's a question of so then you'll say is it giving me some value for money and here I think it really does doesn't it. It's quite hard for people who are interested in Passive House wanting to get into it or build one to sort out that thing in their head with natural materials or energy efficiency. But what's interesting about this system, EcoCocon, it gives you a really instant prefabricated system that is genuinely low energy and it is a sustainable system. This is quite different from your traditional bale building because it is so consistent and it's actually a Passive House certified component. A bit of a geeky thing, but airtight on the outside is something we're normally nervous about, but that's sorted. It was sorted. The membrane had to be a special membrane with quite high vapour openness. And it was all modelled in software to make sure we don't get the condensation issues. We found the house, you know, really comfortable all year round. We had some extremes, you know, bees from the east and some heat waves during summers but you know, temperatures are even across the house so couldn't be happier really.